Yeah. And it is not worthy than one dimensional case, the pressure, for example, can be written as A or P0 cosine kx minus omega t. Okay? Then the velocity u is simply what? According to the Euler's equation, we can calculate the velocity, right? du dt minus rho zero, because that is dp dx. Therefore, the velocity is k p0 sine kx minus omega t, and I have to put minus. Then the velocity u is equal to k over rho zero, and I have to integrate this with respect to time that give me minus omega right and then I have cosine kx minus omega t that is velocity okay and I know that k is equal to omega over c, so this is rho, 1 over rho 0 c, okay? And then if I square this, I will have 1 over rho square c square cosine this, okay? That is, oh, sorry. There should, should be there is a p. If I square this, I will have p zero square cosine square. Then divide by rho zero and c square, then I will have same form as the kinetic energy. So for the one dimensional case, kinetic energy and the potential energy is the same. So one dimensional case, kinetic energy and potential energy is equally likely participate each other. That is interesting. That is very interesting. Why? what is the physical or practical implication of that observation. Okay? So let me summarize what we learned today. First, we understood that pressure, density, velocity, you have a question. Okay. Hmm? It should be plus with respect to time. Oh, minus minus is plus. Okay, thank you. Yeah. But doesn't matter because we are we are scaring it. <laughs> but anyway, thank you very much. Okay. So pressure density velocity relation we reviewed the relation between pressure and velocity is governed by Euler equation, and the pressure density is governed by state equation constitutive re relation and density velocity is governed by mass conservation 
and those threes are governed by one dimensional wave equation, acoustic wave equation. Okay, I emphasize that what physical situation we cannot consider by using that one dimensional or three dimensional wave equation. That means you have to go what we neglected in driving one dimensional wave equation. First, we neglected the com convection term and we neglected any forces other than normal force. So every tangential force we assume to be negligible compared with the normal force. Okay? And thermodynamically, we assume the gas is follows isentropic process. So any gas which does not follow isentropic process, we cannot handle. Okay. So that I hope you understand very well. And I hope you understand very well about oil equation, conservation of mass, state equation. Okay. So if you completely understand those things, you will not have any problem in solving, I mean, in doing uh, quiz uh, coming on next Thursday, 75 minutes. And you can bring your calculator if you like. Uh, you can bring your text and handout. Okay. That means I will not make a problem. You can just uh, copy from text. So the problem has to do with how much you think. Okay. And that would be very interesting case.